As 2020 comes to an end, it's that time of year that we need to start planning the investments for next year. So here are the top four stocks that I think will be good growth stocks for 2021. Also, I'm not a qualified financial advisor, so please do your own due diligence before investing. First on my list is CrowdStrike. CrowdStrike is my technology investment for 2021. CrowdStrike is an American cybersecurity company based in Sunnyvale, California. CrowdStrike and cybersecurity companies in general are a good investment for 2021 because COVID-19 has forced many businesses online. Although online is usually a good thing for businesses, it does come with the risk of cyber attack and fraud. Revenue for CrowdStrike was up 86% in Q3 2020, and it should continue to keep going up as we move into 2021. My next idea is Next Era Energy. Next Era Energy is a power company. It is a utility, but I do consider Next Era Energy a growth stock because it is the utility in the United States with the largest amount of wind and solar power assets. Under the coming Biden administration in the United States, I believe fossil fuel companies will be hit with difficulties, while companies that focus on green energy like solar and wind will actually receive government support. So that is right up Next Era Energy's avenue. That is Next Era Energy. It's a wind and solar company. Next Era Energy is certainly not as growthy as some of the other companies on this list, but it is the safest investment on this list. And it's the only one that actually pays a dividend. A small dividend at the time of filming, it's only 1.93%, but a dividend nonetheless. The third company on my list is Lemonade Insurance. And you're probably thinking, insurance? Really? A growth, talk? A growth stock? Seriously? And yes, let me explain why. So hold on. I think there is a method to my madness, or at least I like to believe there is. Lemonade is an American insurance and casual property and casualty insurance company. Lemonade describes itself as an insure tech company. Just like how Peloton describes itself as a tech company, even though it's really just an iPad strapped to a bike. Next thing you know, ExxonMobil is going to be calling itself a Enertech company. Maybe that will make people invest in it. <laughs> Anyways, Lemonade is a new IPO that it IPO'd on July 2nd, 2020. Lemonade is very tech forward compared to the traditional insurance industry. As millennials get to that age where things like life insurance and other insurance start making sense for them, Lemonade is going to benefit from that. Millennials seem to love the tech approach to traditional industries, so Lemonade should be very attractive to them and it should take some market share away from the traditional insurance industries. My fourth and final idea is Airbnb. And yes, I'm aware Airbnb, Airbnb has not IPO'd yet, but it should IPO sometime late this December, and that will be interesting to say the least. Airbnb is not only a growth stock, but it's also part of my COVID-19 recovery play. As the vaccines come out and the world returns to how it was operating two years ago, things will start to return back to normal and people will travel again, and that will benefit Airbnb. I consider Airbnb to be the riskiest of the four investments on this list. I've used Airbnb myself. I love it. It's great but it has many headwinds. Some of these headwinds include city and state governments not allowing certain properties to do short-term rentals. Another thing is the Airbnb IPO might do a Beyond Meat, meaning it bumps up 300% in a short period of time and then comes crashing down once again. So it's definitely not a stock I'm considering of buying on IPO day. Also, Airbnb hasn't made any money since 2008. They actually have a total of losses right now of $2.8 billion. They haven't made any money yet. So it's part of that risk, you know? It's This company hasn't made money yet, but it could make money in the future. Just like Amazon went without making any money for a long period of time before it eventually did. <laughs> so I do consider Airbnb to be a good growth stock for 2021, and I'm going to keep an eye on it. So for full disclosure, I already have shares of CrowdStrike and Lemonade, 
and I have my eyes on the other two, and I don't have a position in them, but I'm waiting for the perfect time. In the comments, put down what stocks you'll be watching for in 2021. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. And as always, good luck in the markets, everyone, and I will see you in the next video.